But uh, yeah, I'm not really a fan when I was a you know new player of this game. I wasn't really a fan of the whole uh, uh, life system with the yellow orbs because it's just it's really not fun because you know you won't be good at the game. Um, I don't know there's nothing there yet. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm trying to remember all the secrets uh, in the game. So. Obviously, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about them as I'm playing here, but uh, yeah, the life system isn't exactly great because, uh, you know, it's really discouraging because, uh oh, you know, this encounter is kicking my ass and now uh, it was at the end of a mission, which means I died and now I have to go back to the beginning of the mission just for another chance, which I think is stupid, so. Also, you can get out of that attack. I'm not entirely sure how. Oh yeah, the worst attack these uh, marionettes have is uh, throwing their sides like that. That's annoying. Um, but the thing is, with Devil May Cry, and that's really why I don't like the life system, is because it's not easy. It's really not an easy game. Um, that being said, though, that's because the uh, you know this game and all DMC games are really, really reliant on you know your skill level. Most of the time, you know, a game will be hard because, or this game, uh, or any DMC game really will be hard because you just aren't good enough at it yet and that's you know kind of kind of difficult to grasp and it's kind of insulting but that's what the game relies on um and uh yeah that's that's part of it but anyway uh there's a sculpture of a female in agony with a sword pierced through her chest wait i can hear a voice i am alistair the weak shall give their heart and swear their eternal loyalty to me So anyway, uh, time to make Force Edge uh, irrelevant. So we get stabbed. Wouldn't be the first time or the last time. <laughs> Certainly wouldn't. But uh, yeah, obviously, uh, Dante is part human, part demon, so he's just he's a, he's able to withstand this kind of thing. Um, and here he's just showing off, really. You know, the hilt goes through his head. Yet that doesn't show up. This game is from 2001, so don't expect an excruciating amount of detail. Anyway, Dante's like, sick. <laughs> New sword. So, uh, you know, the wisecracking Dante that we know, and the, you know, the fun-loving Dante, or what do they call him? Wacky Woohoo Pizza Man, uh, from the later games, is... He's, he's here, but he's a little more subdued, he's not really as talkative, and he's a bit more just quiet, I guess. You know, he's, he's cocky, but he's not flashy, really. You know, I say that as he's swinging around Alistair here. So here we go. Got a new sword that's infinitely better than uh, Force Edge. Also, I love the style of like these FMV menus, like the lightning around Alistair here. It's super 90s and... Early 2000s, and I love it. Alistair gives the possessor lightning speed and aerial capabilities. It's a sword, so it has the exact same moveset as Force Edge to start out. You know? Um, but anyway, if you go into the menu here, which you haven't actually opened up, you start off with a vital star and this amulet, a memento of Dante's mother. In the back is an engraving Virgil and Dante. Keep that in mind. We get a map here, which. <laughs> That's a map, alright. Who, who uses the map in Devil May Cry? Anyway, we get uh, some files here. The enemy file. This is maybe my least favourite part of this game, in completing it at least, because in order to platinum this game, which I did, you need to get every single paragraph of every single enemy uh, filled out. So, you know, I'm missing two paragraphs of the marionette and uh, two paragraphs of the uh, Bloody Mary. And the only way to... Uh, unlock those is to, you know, experience what they refer to. So say one of them's like 
get hit by this attack. You need to wait for them to use that attack and get hit by it, and then the paragraph will automatically fill in. Um, anyway, that's what we have. Uh, yeah, Devil Trigger has been unlocked, so... You look at our uh, health bar, we got those three runes underneath, and uh, those allow us to um, uh, use Devil Trigger, but we don't have it built up yet. And Devil Trigger essentially just makes it so you uh, partially at least transform into the demon that uh, you have equipped at the moment. So I have Alistair, so uh, I could transform into Alistair. A Grim Reaper-like devil is depicted. A key is embedded. Should I take it? Let's get that rusty key. And if we go here and break this, we get the shotgun. Hell yeah, wide range gun, very destructive at close range. I will immediately equip that. Shotgun is infinitely better than every ebony and ivory. And I love I love the way it sounds in this game. It sounds amazing. It's so punchy. Um anyway, that's it for this room. Let's get out of here. So, yeah, as I said, this game isn't very hand-holdy and uh, I'm telling you what to do. So, we're supposed to go into that door there, but I'm going to head back here. Yeah, the uh, the shotgun will knock down any of these uh, marionettes or Bloody Marys or what have you. Um, it's also pretty decent for building up Devil Trigger, so you see I'm at the uh, full gauge here. No, I'm not. <laughs> I thought I was, now I am because that sounds, so now uh, you know, I can access Devil Trigger and use the stuff that it has. I'm going to switch off it. But uh, Devil Trigger just essentially powers you up. Um, we don't have any Devil Trigger exclusive moves yet, so we can't use them. <laughs> anyway, break that tail, we get another blue orb fragment. Let's uh, communicate with the goddess time here now that we have Alistair, we can start to get things. So. Um, I want air hike as soon as possible because you can become airborne and, you know, just electrocute the enemies from up in the air who can't hit you. Um, but that's expensive. <laughs> um, I'll get Stinger here because I feel naked without Stinger. Stinger is what I was referring to where you, uh, earlier where I was talking about, wow, you know, I'm so used to having it. So this is Stinger. You essentially just hold uh, R1 and then forward and uh, triangle. It's a cool little lunge that I uh, use all the time. Because uh, Stinger's, Stinger's amazing, but uh, here's a word of advice. Um, you know, just because an enemy's far away, see this enemy's far away, don't just Stinger towards it over and over. Because, one, that's not very cool. <laughs> and, uh, Two, it's just, it kind of leaves you vulnerable, um, you know, it's not exactly, the game doesn't really encourage using the same move over and over, um, despite the fact that I'm using this combo over and over, because it's really the only good combo. <laughs> I'm not going to keep fighting these guys, we barely get any red orbs from them, so use the rusty key here, unlock this door. And, uh, well, first of all, we can't touch that. There's an immense power that will not allow anyone to get close. Before I can confront the lion, I'll need a sign. A sign, you say? Yeah, we need to go get a sign. Um, there's some enemies there. <laughs> um, there isn't really any way that you can go aside from... Not this way. Haha, <laughs> just, just kidding. You don't go that way. You go this way. Um camera isn't very good at showing where you that you can go up here but you can um, head behind here and we've got more enemies um, who would have thought also <laughs> I instinctively jumped into the air there because what's the name uh, I'm so used to having air uh, sorry air raid which is such an amazing ability um, that I'm just muscle memory is telling me to just go up into the air um, anyway, this doesn't really mean anything. I, yeah, every single playthrough I go by this thing, I think, 
Oh yeah, that's right. There's nothing there. It says, you know, this is where the guiding souls gather, but there's nothing there. You can't, you can't put anything into there. I don't think. A god stands before thee to open the path. Use thy strength to drive it back. So essentially, just hit this thing over and over. Um, and then use the interact button on the thing there. So we end up in this little. Su not really sewer segment. Staff of Judgment. A staff that shines with mysterious light. So that's what we needed. Also, yeah, I'm not going to be trying to get S ranks on missions, um, as you can no doubt tell, because it's pretty strict and, well, it's really just based on time. You really just have to rush to the end of a level, but um, I want to, you know, enjoy the game and show it off. This is a let's play after all. Um, not a, not a speedrun. Anyway. Yeah, remember that, uh, that painting earlier? Well, I uh, hope you do. So, uh, these are annoying to listen to, for one thing. Um, but these are Sin Scissors, and don't, don't hit them with physical attacks because it'll just never work. You want to use your shotgun, get close range and hit them with your shotgun, and that'll take care of them. Trying to deal with them any other way is really not a great option because they just dodge out of the way of everything and it's quite annoying. So that take care of that. That takes care of that. Also, have I mentioned the uh, the battle theme yet? The music in this game is pretty forgettable. Oh, it's these little buggers. They are pointless. Anyway, we use the Staff of Judgment on here. Carving the of Death looks like a judge be holding something. You should use Staff of Judgment. There you go. Alright, so uh, that's the end of the mission, but have I mentioned the, the music of this game is pretty dull because it's just, it tries to be like Resident Evil music that's not really, it doesn't really fit with the tone. It fits with the tone of the castle, but not with the tone of the game. Because the game is just like, action based, <laughs> you know? So I don't think it really fits. Um, that being said though, Okay, I'm, I know I'm going to overwrite that so far by accident one day, and I need to not do that because that's my main save file. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's let's not do that because I really don't want to lose that save file. <laughs> Alright, Destroyer of Arda. This is where the game starts to get a little bit tougher. So we can't afford air raid at the moment, which means I'm going to have to do this normally. <laughs> Or, you know, with 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 a performance that's uh you know worthy of the pride of lion. So Anyway, walk into this cathedral and uh the doors look behind us. Anyway, I love how like, you know it's like the pulsing of the pillars there it looks really strange, but uh Anyway, head up to the Pride of Lion here. It's granted only to those who choose the path. Choose the path of trials. So, uh, that uh, unlocks that door. Also, I am so used to playing through this game and skipping all the cutscenes. I have this natural urge to press start as soon as like the smallest animation happens. Because I'm like, well, it's a cutscene. You know, I'm just playing through the game <laughs> because I've seen these cutscenes a million times. Anyway, jump up here for a bunch of red orbs, um, and you can stinger off the end of this to go far. <laughs> All right. So uh, yeah, stinger isn't very long distance um, because we only have stinger level one. So, oh, um, little piece of advice: should I even bother? No, let's just grab him. I was going to say, because you come back... Uh, no, I'll leave him because I don't really give much. I was going to say, uh, come back here at a later time um, and don't grab these orbs now because uh, they'll be they'll give you more orbs if you leave them now and you come back later. There'll be more orbs here. The symbol resembles the Staff of Hermes that's used in the Art of Alchemy. Hmm, I can feel some kind of mysterious force, but I just can't quite understand it yet. You may think this is important. It's not really. Oh, no, it is. It states, go back, go back the path... Go back the path, that doesn't really make sense. So essentially, interact with this. You don't really have to worry about the stuff of Fermi's thing. Um, for now, at least. So anyway, it's like, go back. and uh, Okay, let's just go back then. So 
so we do, and we get struck by lightning. <laughs> That's strange animation. So anyway, down we go. So, here we are, underwater, sort of. It looks like there's a glass dome uh, around Dante, or where we are at the moment, or whatnot. Anyway, these are... God, what were their names? No, I'm checking the name. What was their name? Sargasso, that's right. Okay, so Sargasso, you just hit them with a the shotgun and they die instantly. Um, they're not really a threat. Um, but they're really weird because they don't attack you until you get close to them. And you can't actually hit them until you get close to them. And they're considered active. So that's weird. But um, anyway, don't head inside yet. Because, uh, well, first of all, come up here. And stinger off of this, land on this platform, and you'll get a blue orb fragment. It's kind of hard to see that platform, I find. It's not very prominent. Alright, but uh, you also want to go back across this, which is fun. Because platforming in this game is not fun. <laughs> oh, it's the worst. So, yeah, I recommend just running up to the ledge of a platform and sort of confirming which direction you're going before you actually jump. Um, and if you make it back over here, there's a blue orb fragment. So, yeah. And uh, gives us a bit more health, which we'll want. Alright. Um, but those platforms don't come back, so it's, so, you know, you may be thinking, oh god, well, how do I get back? Um, well, you try your damnedest, that's for sure. Oh god, this one's the worst one. Oh my god, I actually made it back. Wow, I wasn't expecting to actually be able to do that because the platforming is so god-awful. But uh, uh, if you fall down there, and you'll just have to deal with the Sargassos again, but then you get teleported back out to the opposite side. So, yeah, don't worry too much about that if you fall. Not very punishing. Anyway, we come up here, and now we can get the Pride of Lion. Oh yeah, Sign of the Strong allows the it, allow it allows confrontation with the Lion Gatekeeper. Anyway, that uh, may not have been such a good idea to grab that. Here we go. I love this guy's voice, by the way. So, this is Phantom. Um, first boss of the game, and certainly not a pushover. Um, also, here's where you can use your roll. It's kind of hard to get down, but uh, here's where you can also find out how useful Devil Trigger is. Devil Trigger cancels Phantom's attacks, really. Also, yeah, so I'm going to concentrate a little bit, because this boss isn't easy. Um, <laughs> certainly not easy, so... Uh, also, if you jump, you get a bit of invincibility frame, so uh, it's, you know, it's much easier to jump uh, out of the way of things than roll for beginners, um, because rolling, you can only roll side to side, and it's kind of awkward. So, yeah, he, um, he sort of gets pushed back by the shotgun. You really want to knock Phantom back, because, uh, you know, it's kind of hard for him to get stunned by anything. And uh, once you get it, go ahead and just power through him with Devil Trigger. Just chops his health bar down. And there we go. Also, uh, Devil Trigger heals you over time. So, you know, if you really want to use Devil Trigger for it, you can just stand back and shoot a bit and uh, use it to heal primarily. So that boss is not easy. He's, he's not easy for a beginner. Um, but uh, luckily I'm not a beginner, so I can <laughs> play through this game just fine. But if you are a beginner, well, good luck to you, because he, uh, he's not easy. Not in the slightest. Um, but he, you know, you do have to learn the fight. And uh, I won't say that the fight's that great. It's really not. Um, 
you know, Phantom himself is fine, you know, his attacks and everything, he's pretty well uh, telegraphed, all of his attacks are at least, but the arena that you're given is garbage because of all the pillars in the way and the camera is not fun, so. That's the trouble with it. So uh, anyway, don't worry about, uh, you know, if you've played Resident Evil and you see uh, the the saves, you know, list the amount of saves that you've had. Don't worry about limited saves. You can save as many times as you want. <laughs> Display one strength to the lion and open the path to quiet the melancholy, melancholy soul. Let's buy Air Raid and destroy this game. Not really, the game will still destroy you. But Air Raid is super, super useful. Um, I'm definitely going to be using it. Do I have enough or just enough for a purple orb? Should I? Yeah, I'll go for a purple orb. Um which is a permanent Devil Trigger uh, upgrade, as in you get...